This is a bed of elephant garlic, and there's some radish seeds that I planted in here more than a week ago and are just starting to come up. You can see one right there, right in the center. And we're going to have three nights in a row of mid-twenties. That's below freezing, and that's right in the range when it begins to dwarf or stunt the plants, the brassicas. I don't know, I, I think these elephant garlic would make it through that. But the radishes, I'm not sure about. I don't think they will. So I'm going to go ahead and take that chicken wire off, and I'm going to be putting on this row cover, plastic row cover, and surround it all with a good thick covering of straw. And right before dark, I'll put a blanket over the whole thing besides. And then in the morning, I'll take the blanket off. I'm going to do the same on this side. I'm going to do it a little different. I'm going to use these screened row covers. And that's basically to hold up the blanket that I'm going to put over the top. I have a lineup of gray shallots there. And I think that they'll live through it okay, but um, it'll probably kill off some of the plant. And I don't want that to happen. I've got some garlic in here. And we'll go ahead and protect that too. Um, I'll show a video of it when I'm completed the project. We've completed the roll cover part of it. I had to get some plastic from other ones that were broken to cover up the holes. This is the last one I've got that's got that has a relatively intact cover. Everything else is rotted away. These have all, I probably bought these seven, eight years ago. And then these extra hoops I put on for support between the ones that are actually connected. See how that's starting to break away there too. To hold up the blankets that I'm going to put over the top for at night. Uh, next I'm going to put some straw up along the edges here. All nice and cozy. Now this is primarily to, to protect the radishes and there are carrot seeds in here. I don't want them to freeze out in case they're just starting to sprout. And uh, then we're going to have a little bit of an experiment. So we have elephant garlic under about three quarters of this, then there's just regular garlic. And at the end we have both elephant garlic and regular garlic, the same variety. And it'll be unprotected. And we'll just see if this really cold temperatures of the next couple of nights damage any of those, any of the leaves. So, uh, I don't know for sure. We're going to find out. And then this is a small bed of gray shallots that I put under plastic. I had this plastic. And then there's a lineup of gray shallots underneath that screened row cover. And then this is a lineup of garlic. You can see the leaves inside of there. And there are potato onions planted. There are potato onions also planted under the straw between the two row covers. So there are my blankets. Those are actually blankets that were thrown out by a motel a couple of years ago and I've been using them since. So right before dark I'm going to come in here and stretch those out over these row covers. So the, the hoops of the row covers, this is from one that broke apart already. And these are connected to the screens. So these hoops will hold the blankets up from going down and squashing the plants. So. I think we got us a good plan here. Yeah. It's mostly about getting these radishes through. Now I've had radishes that live through even like 21 degrees, which is 11 degrees below Fahrenheit below freezing, but then they were stunted. They didn't grow to be much. And so somewhere in that 20 degree range, I mean they'll definitely live, but then it shows up in the lack of growth. So now we're going to stop that from happening to these plants because I want early radishes. These are actually a long day, a longer life, longer lived radish. These can live up to 60, 70 days before they stop growing. But the idea is I'll be thinning them out hopefully 30 days from now and eating them fresh and eating on them for the next 30 days. But we'll see. That's gardening, you never know.